Good day! In this video, we're going to talk about examples, shortcomings, and concerns on fact-checking on social media. The frameworks discussed in the previous video may be used to consider in order to check if the media source is reliable. Here is an example based on the CRAAP framework. So, CRAAP framework means currency, relevance, authority, accuracy, and purpose. Let's start with currency. Number one consideration is check the age of the source. This means we need to look for the most recent sources available if the information is time sensitive. Second, in the academe, references that are less than 10 years old are typically preferred. You might also need to examine more recent sources if the source is outdated to determine if the data has changed. Note that there are what you call evergreen subjects. Their sources may be outdated but equally important. Newness is not sometimes important as long as it is reliable. Second, locate important sources. Remember that outdated sources may still be valuable. If a foundational work is still relevant, such as relating to culture or the earliest writings of a philosopher or the Bible, it may be worthwhile to examine it. An older document that has recently been modified might still contain the most recent data and analysis. Note that there are occasions when something seems important but is actually out of context and make sure that all codes are placed in their proper context to avoid reading anything that has been taken out of its proper context. In general, a primary source will have more credibility than a secondary source. We can assume that an article has less accuracy the farther it is from the original source. Also choose the right audience. Even if a source may be talking about the subject you are interested in, it might be intended for kids or a specific segment of the population, so the information may not be directly applicable to you. On verifying the credentials of the author, remember that journalists are expected to uphold journalistic ethics, particularly if they work for reputable media outlets. Academics must follow the norms in which they have been educated. We may view an author as more credible if they have first-hand experience about the subject. Next is verify the author's authority on the subject. We may trust an author more if they are licensed professional in the subject matter that they are discussing. Somebody could be an authority, but they also need to be a specialist in their subject. For instance, one can hold, can hold a doctorate in education, but has no business spending chemistry-related essays. Inaccurate information may be hidden by making appeals to authority, known as the appeal to authority fallacy. Even if the author is credentialed, or a credentialed expert has been quoted, it is important to maintain a critical eye. Quality and reputable publishers also establish authority. It might be more reliable than a blog if you are on a news website with a transparent editorial policy. Publishers from universities with EDU domains will be more reputable than most websites with .com extensions. Editors, peer reviewers, and publishing companies are examples of gatekeepers. These editors can stop the publication of unreliable or subpar content. Because there are no gatekeepers on social media platforms like Twitter and blogs, their dependability may be reduced. You also need to verify peer review. Peer review occurs when the content is read, evaluated, and fact-checked by another reliable source. This promotes high standards. Double-blind reviews are ones that are written by specialists who are not connected to the original content's author. One of the highest requirements of quality for academic sources is double-blind review. Verify images. 
Original images can be used to demonstrate first-hand knowledge rather than stock photos or images created by other people. For instance, if there are images of the reviewer actually using the product, the review may be more well-received. Note that a sponsored article or film may be less likely to criticize a sponsor, which could reduce the authority of the source.